Hello, this is Al Lopez with Solution Gem. We're gonna show you how to install the Zebra CP450 printer with an Ethernet connection on your Windows computer today. So the easiest way to install it is first we need to make sure the printer is on, connected to the Ethernet network, has paper and it has the green light. When the printer is ready like that, you're gonna hold the feed button and you're gonna let it flash once. That will give you a configuration label that will have the IP address on your network already. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the driver itself, into the actual website where you can download the driver. In our case, we're on our website right now at the zebra.sg407.com. You can download the driver from there and we have a video showing how to connect the printer, how to put the labels. So you're gonna click on this driver right there. Then, while the driver is downloading, you're gonna open a new window, and we're gonna test the connection of your printer. So in this case, my IP address is 10.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
Okay, we're gonna say next. Okay, we're gonna leave the standard network card next. So everything is correct here. We're gonna say finish. Now, you're gonna look for the port. You see, Zebra CP450 network. So it's been created it's there. We're gonna say next. I'm just gonna put this uh, network so I know it is not USB connected. So I'm just gonna put network. You can put any name you want in here. Next and finish. All right. So now while this is printing, we're gonna go into our devices and printers. Type in printer. Okay, and as you can see. The driver got successfully installed. We're gonna say close. So we're gonna go into our printers. There are several different ways of getting into the printers folder. This is by far the easiest. Let's go printer. Okay, so printers and scanners, you're gonna click on that. Then you're gonna go all the way to the bottom for devices and printers. Okay, so as you can see, we have our printer here already installed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure the connection is successful. So we're going to right click on it. We're going to choose printer properties. Let's go to the general tab. And we're going to send test page. All right. So the test page works correctly. A test page right here so that means our printer is connected correctly so now in this particular printer we're using 4x6 so we're gonna change the defaults we're gonna go to the advanced tab printing defaults I always like to put none because we're gonna be printing shipping labels so these are the settings for this 4x4 is the default we're gonna change it to 4x6 because that's the labels that we have apply okay then we're going to go into the general tab and make sure the preferences and make sure those same settings are on the right spot. 4 by 6 okay. Now your printer, and if you want to check the ports, you see right now it's on its port, Zebra, CP450 network, everything is correct. Printer is working, ready to go. Now from here, you can set it up with uh, to work with your shipping programs, your barcoding programs. But this is the basic, and these same uh, s steps work with uh, the Zebra GK420D and the GX420D. You can use another program called the Zebra Utilities. Uh, in my opinion, that's a little longer to do. This one is a little faster. If the printer has a permanent network already set up on that, you're going to have to reset it, and there is instructions online on how to do that. If you have any questions, we offer technical support to our customers free of charge. If you got this printer from another supplier, just give us a call at 888-407-6757. We charge $49 an hour and we'll be happy to connect with you remotely and help you from here. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.